with Simon Buchanan. It's day four of the competition here in Calgary. It's uh, just about 11.30 local time over here and in about half an hour time the first of the Skillaroos will be finishing off their competition project. Simon, you of course were a competitor in um, landscape gardening in Japan two years ago. What sort of emotions are running through the competitors' heads as they're just about at the end of their very long journey? I guess a very big mixture of emotions are you know, physical and mental exhaustion would be one of them. You know, after four days of solid competition, you'd really just be looking forward to the end just to just to stop the hard work. But also excitement, nervousness, I guess, and, and anticipation on how you thought you went. So a whole mixture, a whole mixed bag of feelings, actually. And, and I, I guess in Japan I saw a lot of relief. Is there a lot of relief too? Absolutely. I don't think I've ever been re as relieved in my life finishing a competition, but... Yeah, it was just such an amazing feeling. You know, it's hard to describe unless you're really involved in it, but it's, you know, it is something amazing. And, you know, there is a gap between the finish of competition and when you find out how you've gone, the results. They have uh, shortened it here in Calgary so that tomorrow night we will have a closing ceremony. You know, how do you handle that gap between finish and then knowing how you've performed? I don't know. I guess you... You're always thinking about it, but you, you try to block it out at the same time because it's, you know, you, it is anticipation on it. You really don't know how you went. And it really is hard, I guess, in all categories to, to pick a winner at the end of the competition. It's almost impossible. So, yeah, I guess it's, again, really nerve-wracking, but you just try to block it out and, and calm yourself and, you know, and be ready for whatever result. Yeah. Whatever result, you're a winner. Yeah. And, you know, I spoke with you earlier, um, and you said that the four days of competition in your category was the hardest four days you've ever worked in your life. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever had a tougher four days. It really, you know, as I said before, physically and mentally exhausting, but... And you know, all, all, all with about, you know, in your case, I think there's about 230,000 visitors in Japan. Suddenly there were 230,000 experts in landscape gardening, gardening looking over your shoulders. There always is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess and that's another thing you've just got to be able to block out is the crowd, so... You know, all, all those things, the crowd and all the pressure and everything at all, you know, you just got to not let it get to you. Yeah. And so, two years on, what are you doing here? Why are you here in Calgary? I've been asked back as part of World Skills International as part of their premier experience this year. Um, I actually was honoured to be uh, selected to talk on a guest panel at the World Skills Leaders Forum uh, this year, um, which was an amazing experience. It was really good now. On the other side, it's good to be to be back here to see the competition, you know, and see them all competing and competing and going through what I went through all the hard times. But it was also good to be involved in the World Leaders Forum to try to get up there and you know really make a difference and try to help you know improve and promote World Skills as much as we can. Fantastic. And so now that you've seen both sides, which which side of the fence do you prefer to be on? Oh, I guess it's sort of 50-50. I really did enjoy being a competitor, and you know the whole process of it was great. But it also is really good to be on the other side now and, and you know, still to be involved in World Skills is amazing. It's something I want to really stick by and, and you know, do as much as I can for years to come. Fantastic. And, and personally, what are you doing with yourself back in Melbourne now? You've got a business going? Yeah, I'm now running my own um, business, which I started full-time after competing in Japan. Um, yeah, we're starting to really grow now. It's, uh, I've got three guys full-time uh, that work for me and uh, yeah, we're, we're really busy and really starting to you know, pick up some really good high-end work. So it's going well. And they're working hard while you're over here are they? They certainly are yeah so it's a good test for them to see how they go all my way so we'll see when I get back. Fantastic and you think your world skills experience has stood you in good stead for your professional oh, life? Absolutely I said this in the world leaders forum I wouldn't be where I am today in my business if it wasn't for world skills yeah. it's, it's been something that you know has taken me from there to there and just you know all the really opens your mind to different you know experiences and experiencing different cultures and but also you know the confidence in yourself to you know in your skills and abilities in what you do it's it's just it's amazing. And as an employer now, would you reckon, or will you be encouraging you know, your apprentices if you have apprentices come yeah, through to absolutely. compete in World Skills? Yeah, well I've actually got a second year apprentice now and um, yeah, I've said look if, if the opportunity arises, really go for it. It's, yeah, I recommend it to anyone. Fantastic. Anyone. Well, thanks for your time this morning Simon. As no I said, we're pretty close to the finish now. We better get um, off and see, some, better of get off and see some of them. We've already had a good omen this morning though. I've had word in from Australia that South Africa got beaten by the Wallabies 21-6. Fantastic, so that's good news. We've already got one under the belt. So Beautiful. thanks for speaking with no us worries. today, Simon. Good on you. Thank you.